Hey, welcome to the video. My name is Seth. Are you a pilot who has ever wondered what it's like to fly cargo in aviation? Or are you somebody who's interested in knowing how that little brown box gets from your computer to your front doorstep? Well, in this video, it's gonna be all about that. Morning. All right, just after 5 a.m., just woke up, got ready, got my stuff. Just now leaving the crew house and uh, getting ready to jump in the crew car. Pretty nice day today, weather looks good. Heading to Rifle, so cannot wait to see the mountains from uh, 20,000 feet, that's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go. So a typical day for a cargo pilot at Key Lime Air goes like this. Get up at 5 a.m., see a gorgeous sunrise over the eastern plains of Colorado. Then carpool to the airport with other pilots assigned to different routes for a 6 a.m. showtime. After arriving at the cargo site of Denver International Airport, get the plane ready and loaded with cargo. Depart Denver and as you'll see in today's video, go to Rifle to drop off that cargo. Before continuing with the rest of the day, a word about safety and the pre-flight. The pre-flight inspection of the airplane is such a critical component of each flight for the day. In short order, you realize that to start pre-flighting in aviation, you don't have to be standing beside your aircraft. The process begins the instant you spot it on the ramp and you can assess its general condition. A flat tire or a deflated nose wheel strut is visible from afar. Any obvious things that just don't look right should stand out to you right away. Glancing at the overall condition of the airplane from a distance initially indicates that you or another pilot did a good job of securing the aircraft the night before. Keeping this in mind as you start your day will definitely serve you well. So what's next? Well, all these boxes being loaded onto the plane have to be weighed and accounted for. In aviation, the term we use for this is weight and balance. Every pilot gets an accurate total weight of the cargo and completes a weight and balance form for that flight. So what happens if the weight is too much or the aircraft is not in balance? Well the answer is simple. Send the extra weight on another airplane or ship the weight to keep the aircraft in balance and guarantee a safe takeoff and climb. Put the rifle airport, Rockies for red table, then rifle. I'm into one zero thousand, expect flight level one eight zero, one zero makes up for departure, and squawking five four three four. When I became a pilot at Key Lime Air, I joined an exclusive group of pilots regarded as some of the best aviators in the industry. The job is intense. We are trained to succeed as a single pilot flying a multi-engine complex airplane with no autopilot during unfavorable weather, low visibility, low cloud ceilings, and we do it every day. Some people ask me, do you fly with autopilot? Not in our cargo Metroliners. Here at Key Lime Air, it's all steam gauge, hand flying, and 
and it's all done single pilot. This is the proving ground. High task saturation in the cockpit, and each pilot does it alone. No co-pilot. Your single pilot resource management skill level skyrockets, and you become the best pilot you'll ever be. Final approach into Rifle, Colorado, and it couldn't be a more beautiful day to come to this amazing airport with breathtaking views sitting at 5,537 feet above sea level. Unloading boxes is always a fun part of the job for me. We see some of the most random items being shipped on our routes. Live queen bees, to trampolines and swing sets, to heavy machinery parts, to very odd medical parts and samples that I'll spare you the details on. Either way, there is no other job like cargo. So now that all the cargo is unloaded, what happens now? Well... Now that we're done with the cargo in rifle, basically the way it works is if you work a Denver route, you'll go to your outstation, you'll drop off your cargo, you'll go back to Denver, and then you have the middle of the day off. And it's usually about six to eight hours. You can take a nap, you can go have fun with your family, you can go home and mow the lawn. Otherwise, if you're an outstation person, you're gonna be going to a hotel. So the plane's gonna stay there where you left it until you come back at night. So check out the flight back into Denver at night with some of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen in Colorado. Here we go. Not only are there unbelievable sunrises in Colorado, but as the sun dips below the mountainous horizon, the fleeting colors of orange and pink begin to fade as dusk approaches. The charcoal black rocks outline the evening sky and create one of the most beautiful sunsets you'll ever see. Welcome to Denver. Clear to land 16 left, Denver International Airport. been a long day and there's no doubt I'm tired. Being a cargo pilot is hard work, but it's fulfilling and the experience flying these airplanes makes it all worth it. The plane is secured and I always ensure a proper post-flight inspection is completed. I want to always be that guy that ensures the next pilot is set up for success. No maintenance remarks on this bird, time to head home or back to the crew house. As a Key Lime Air pilot, if you live at an outstation, then you travel to and from the crew house via crew car. It's a very nice convenience to have and I really appreciate that the company provides it for us. Welcome to a day in the life of a cargo pilot at Key Lime Air. I just want to do a quick video to let you know that Key Lime Air is actually hiring. We are hiring pilots for 121 operations, captain and FOs, and then we're also hiring for cargo. So if you're interested in coming on to a really, really good airline, 
pays really, really well, has good hours, really takes care of their employees. You should check out Key Lime Air uh, at the uh, link that you see in the description. So anyways, hope to see you guys a little bit more as uh, time goes on and uh, feel free to leave a comment. All right, talk to you.